Today on CityCast Boise, there's nothing worse than being in a rush and heading into a road that's closed for construction. And right now, there are multiple road closures around downtown Boise. So who can we blame? And when will the roads be back to normal? We're finding out what's going on, and we have some tips for how you can avoid some of these construction headaches. It's Wednesday, May 8th. I'm Frankie Barnhill filling in for Lindsay Van Allen, and this is what Boise's talking about. Nick Rosenberger, you recently reported on a story for the Idaho Statesman about all this crazy downtown construction mess. So needed to have you on. What is happening right now? Yeah, there is definitely a lot of construction and road work happening in downtown Boise. Um, you know, if you've if you've driven down there um, during rush hour and over the last maybe like month or so, you've probably really noticed um, some traffic backups and some road closures. Um, it can it can be pretty intense and and kind of feel like you're stuck in a maze sometimes. <laughs> like no way to get out. And it seems like when I read your reporting, um, one of the one of the pieces of this is that. There's so many different projects going on, different kinds of projects, like construction on new apartment buildings and hotels, but then also like infrastructure upgrades, like our geothermal system needs some updates, uh, making things safer for pedestrians. So is that part of what's uh, that, creating this maze experience? Is it's not even just one kind of construction? It's also everywhere. It feels like it's everywhere. And it's a lot of different kinds of construction. Yeah. Absolutely. There's construction to, to fix, you know, patchy roads. There's construction to connect new buildings to, to utilities. Um, there's, there's intersection improvements. So streetlights and, and curbs and all of these different things. And it, it is kind of this amalgamation of, of a bunch of different things. Um, so there's, there's generally like three kind of main agencies that, that, all kind of have their different timelines and different projects and different developments that they kind of have to deal with. Um, so that's one is the 80 County Highway District or ACHD. Right. The other is the city of Boise and then the Capital City Development Corp, uh, which is the, the city's urban renewal agency. And they're all focused on different projects for different reasons on different timelines. And they have different uh, oversight because it's all these different agencies. And I think one of the things I just want to inter- interject, because I feel like when I'm online, like on Reddit, the the threads are crazy. I don't know if you've been there, but it is wild when people are talking about construction on Facebook and stuff. And I think one of the things is people, it almost feels like a conspiracy to some people or something, you know, like, how could this all be happening? And who can I blame? And a lot of people just assume it's the city of Boise, but maybe aren't aware of like these other agencies, ACHD, uh, CCDC, as you mentioned, and all these acronyms that are also, yeah, they're, they're all, they're all working on different stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, and I've I've gotten those emails too, um, and I will say it is not like a masterminding conspiracy. Um, it just happens to be that there's a lot of construction projects um, and a lot of different agencies that are all working on different things um, that happen to be falling around the same time. And a lot of this is pretty unavoidable. Um, you know, we're we're a grown city, and we're a grown region, um, and and with that comes road closures. Um, so if you're seeing like a new construction or a new building going up in downtown, that building likely needs to be connected to utilities. So gas lines, sewer lines, electric stuff. And those are all pretty much underground. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. They're all underground. You're digging up. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're digging up roads. You're, you're paving those back over. Um, and so that just is one of those kind of unfortunate realities of living in a, in a city that's, that's changing and growing so much. Right. We, we love the change, but these are these are the possible downsides that people have to get used to. Uh, this is probably unfair, but I'm still going to ask it. Who's most responsible for what's going on in downtown right now? Or is it kind of just equally spread out among all these agencies? You know, it's actually it is actually pretty spread out. Um, and there's like other private developments, too, that are happening that that are not kind of are not a part of these agencies. Um, so everyone kind of uses ACHD as like the proverbial punching bag sometimes. The scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the scapegoat. Everyone kind of blames them. But no, it is it is a bunch of different different things. And you can't really just point at one agency and say like, hey, it's your fault. Um, so like, for instance, um, kind of on the eastern side of downtown, um, I was driving over there the other day and I saw that a road was closed for the future 
Idaho Central Credit Union Plaza, um, okay. which that's a that's a private development. That's not right. CCDC that I know of. Um, that's not ACHD. That's not the city of Boise. So they had to close that road for for that one. So it's it's yeah. There's not one one person to kind of blame for this all. Okay, let's get an update on a few of these projects and where the construction is. Um, Hotel Renegade, you've talked about Hotel Renegade on the podcast before. Remind us where it is and when it should be done. Isn't it soon, hopefully? Yeah, um, Hotel Renegade is should be opening this spring. It's It's kind of on the western side of Grove Street. It's kind of got that gazebo on the roof kind of on the on the corner of that roof on grove street which you might be able to to recognize right it's it's fairly yeah it stands out in the in the skyline yeah yeah and that one is getting pretty pretty close to completion um like i said i think it should be opening this spring uh hotel renegade along with um the broadstone saratoga apartments which are kind of right next to it as well um those have those have closed that western side of grove street for for a while um, I don't think you've actually been able to drive down the entire length of Grove Street for for quite for quite a while, honestly. Yeah, I think that's right. I think what's funny is I was thinking back this time last year, we published a very similar episode. So it is very much deja vu of just downtown construction in general and Grove Street <laughs> definitely has been feeling it for going on a year now. Um, okay, so that's that's that project. What about uh the Arthur, which is that Huge glass giant twenty six uh, story uh, up new apartment building that's going up uh, on the west end of downtown. Um, that's that's still causing construction delays too, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so they, I believe, had to close a lane on Idaho Street for for that one. You know, not all construction. You, you know, you don't always need to to close a street to put a crane in, um, right. but sometimes you do. Um, and, and so I, I believe that lefternmost lane uh, of Idaho street's been closed, um, for, for quite a while as well. I don't remember exactly when it closed, but yeah, that's definitely been a, been a also kind of a busy street to have a lane closure on. Yeah. And that, uh, that first official skyscraper apartment building skyscraper, at least for Boise. Uh, yeah, it, it, it makes sense. I guess, but they need to, they need to close a, a good portion of the street to, to move cranes around. Okay. What about, um, by St. Luke's, there's something St. Luke's is doing that's causing some issues on Jefferson Street. Yeah, so the very kind of the end point of Jefferson Street, um, right at St. Luke's, um, they closed Jefferson Street to build an ambulance bay and the uh, north tower of the new St. Luke's. So St. Luke's is doing a massive expansion, basically directly north. I don't remember if Jefferson Street is going to be closed forever or if that's going to go all the way through i would have to look that up again um but yeah i so st luke's closed that jefferson street for that northern expansion okay okay that's and then also staying with your grove street theme uh sixth and grove um the grove street public something or other that that's going to be like almost a park but not what's going on there yeah, so if you if you guys know the the Basque Block, pretty much directly across the street from from the Basque Block, there is uh, like an empty parking lot, um, and that will be turned into the Grove Street public space, um, and so that's going to be kind of like a little park thing, um, event area kind of thing, and so they've got Grove Street locked down right now. Um, they're doing some underground work, and, and I believe they're prepping um, for for that. Uh, public space to get put in there in the coming years. Um, so yeah, that's also definitely been kind of a hang up for some people because, uh, you know, that I, most of fifth street is also closed as well. Um, yeah. and so it's, it's been kind of a, kind of a headache for, for some folks. I've seen a couple of people turn into it and then have to like turn back out right on front street, yeah. which is maybe not the best considering how busy front street is. Yeah, great point. Um, definitely having to keep your head on a swivel more and more downtown just to like really be aware of where construction is happening and where people might be getting confused. Um, let's talk about State Street for a second, because that's a main corridor. Uh, and a lot of people have gotten really used to being able to use State Street to get get through downtown quickly. But that's not the case anymore. 
most people probably know how busy State Street is um, for like a commuter kind of route. Everyone coming from Eagle or, or Northwest Boise kind of uses State Street to, to get into downtown. People living in the North End also use State Street. It's, it's just a super, super common thoroughfare. And so there's two parts of State Street that are under construction right now. Near the State Street Albertsons, um, they've got most of those lanes closed. And I believe it's like a, like one lane. And you do have to dodge some cones to get through there. Um, that kind of limits access to, to really popular area or like businesses. So like Albertsons, Starbucks, Dutch Bros. Um, a lot of people like those things. And, and so it's kind of a headache trying to get through that side, but it's still open. Okay. Um, directly behind the Capitol, uh, State Street is closed um, and, and entirely. Um, so yeah, that, that segment of State Street is closed and their um, ACHD is rerouting people onto Jefferson and Washington streets, um, which if you've, been, if you've been downtown in that area during rush hour, uh, you've probably noticed very long lines and, right. and kind of uh, traffic jams, honestly. Um, and, yeah. and that will last quite a while. Um, ACHG is, I think they're supposed to wrap up that segment in November. Okay. So I guess, I guess don't expect it to wrap up anytime soon. It's better to know. It's just better to know, better to be aware of that. Um, and I do think, yeah, ACHG, they've definitely put out a lot of messaging and letting people know what's going on. So, um, I guess, you know, like kind of stepping back from all of this, we're talking about like the crisscrossing agencies and, you know, this is what growth looks like. It looks like a lot of different things and a lot of different updates that need to be made and, and new things coming in all together. Um, but I think one of the questions, again, on Reddit uh, and other social media sites and stuff that I've seen is people just asking like, okay, fair enough, lots of different agencies. Why can't they coordinate more? Or like, is there anything that can be done internally to change their policies so like the city of boise is like coordinated more with what achd is up to with what ccdc is up to with what a private entity or is it just this is kind of how this is yeah so they do they do work together um I, you know I, I wish i could be like in in there and see how it like actually happens how they make the decisions but they do try to work together as best as possible um, a lot of the times things are kind of unavoidable um, so when I was talking to ACHD, one of the things that they talked about, um, of needing to close ninth street, um, for, for roadway and, and kind of pedestrian improvements, um, because the city of Boise wants to work on underground geothermal lines, um, right. on, on Bannock. And if you close both, then it's going to create an even bigger headache. And, and so a lot of the times you, you, you try your best to, to kind of, work with everyone's plans, but it's kind of unavoidable um, with all the work that's going in downtown. So you can plan, but at some point, everything kind of does come to a head. Um, and it, in some cases, it is kind of unavoidable. Yeah. I, I think about the the downtown businesses, you know, they're open. They're open for business. It's just a matter of can people get in and out and, and do they need to plan ahead? Uh, it's not as easy to park as it once was, but they can still get to it. Um, all of those those questions. So I think people are really they're really everybody's feeling this <laughs> in one way or another. Um can we anticipate even more road closures this summer? I almost don't even want to ask that question. Or is this kind of what what things are going to look like for a while? You know, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I think in, in like the larger scheme of things, if, if the city is going to keep growing, then yes, definitely like expect more road closures. You know, it's, there's a lot more, you know, empty dirt filled parking lots in downtown that could be turned into buildings someday. Um, and like I said before, those, those buildings need to get connected to utilities. Um, there's a lot of other things that are, that are going on. So, so yeah, no road construction is not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but it just, it, it might come and go in waves. Um, and that's just something to kind of think about. Um, and I, I will say, I will give out one, one tip. Yeah, um, please. The, so <laughs> ACHD does have a, like an interactive map called the road work in the area map. Um, and if you like go to their website and, and take a look at that map, it has, um, road closures and lane restrictions, and then also like pending, uh, road closures and lane restrictions. So you can kind of like play around with that to see, um, you know, you can look at your, your commute to work and say, see like, okay, this road will be closed in 
July or something. And then you can kind of plan around it. And so that kind of helps you you take a look at what is closed and, and what could be closed um, in the near future. That's a great tip. We'll uh, be sure to put that in our show notes so people can can look at that map and at least, you know, knowledge is power and maybe <laughs> makes people feel a little bit better just knowing what's going on. Uh, Nick, thanks so much for coming on. It kind of feels like another sign, as you've said, Boise has become a, a legit city uh, with downtown construction just kind of being the norm. So thanks for helping uh, break it down and letting us know what's been going on. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, that's all for today here on CityCast Boise. If you enjoyed the show, check out our website, boise.citycast.fm, for more local news and events. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more intel on the city. See you then. <laughs>